Welcome back friends, this is Solomon Jagwe. I'm back with another quick insight and today we're going to be looking at the amazing, amazing fluid flux. This is a real-time uh, water simulation. You can use it to create rivers, shorelines and uh, today as I was, you know, I just got a notification that there's a new uh, like update that the developers Imaginary Blend is working on. And so what you're looking at here, this is the version 2.0. And his work, he's working on something different that has like a, a, like a shoreline, but this time he did a demo inside of like a glass dome, right? And what's amazing is that this, what you're looking at guys, is in real time. There's no like baking of simulation or anything like that. Everything is actually happening in real time. And that's why I truly, truly love this plugin. So if you're creating like short films that have to do like uh, with maybe marine landing on a beach or maybe like a pirate ship somewhere off in a coast, you know, off of uh, Florida or somewhere in Jamaica, Bermuda, you name it, you know. So this is, there will be like a, a perfect uh, like plugin for you to use. And so let me show you what else that they've been working on. And let's go to this footage right here. This is the footage that I wanted to point out that they've now added some, something different. <laughs> Look at that. So what I just showed you is taken to another level altogether that it's interacting with an object in real time, right? And this is a glass dome. So you can actually see the water like lapping up against the, so like the glass of the dome. So this is like an amazing, amazing situation. Imagine if you're creating a game that has like virtual reality component to it, and maybe you're showing people an underwater experience and you want the sharks to come swimming up next to the glass dome. You know, you can see the fish in the background. This is, it's amazing <laughs> that you can actually do this with a plugin in real time. And there's no simulation. There's no, this is in real time, which makes it easier for us to iterate. Like if you are going to add some details to the dome, uh, of course, physics is involved here with the collision uh, part of it. And I'm looking forward to when this is actually released, the version that actually has this is released and shows this amount of interaction because my goodness, I don't know if you guys, uh, any of you have used Maya, 3ds Max or even uh, Cinema 4D, uh, Houdini. It's very, very difficult to simulate water in real time, right? And to get physics accurate. Like look at how the water is actually interacting with the glass and leaving behind like telltale signs of the fluid on the glass, right? That's what's amazing about uh uh, fluid flux and what it's also cool that when you are on the beach like let me switch over to this other camera right here and let me go just run around a little bit so we can see right so you can actually see the character interacting with the water with the wicks that is truly truly amazing and it actually has sound right now i'm streaming so the sound is uh has gone off you notice that as i get into the water the character is actually swimming right so there's buoyancy there are wakes in the water right there this changes a lot of the way that like when you ever think about creating fluids for a game i think fluid flux would be like one of those options that you would have to consider because for me as a filmmaker i am looking at this and i'm like man i can build out like a whole city up over there on the beach and it could be here on Earth or it could be somewhere in space, assuming the planet has water on it. But this is incredible. And watch this. So I'm going to go back. Let me see if I can go back to the beach. So as I get closer to the beach, you can actually see the buoyancy happening right now. The character will start walking. So they're being affected by the depth of the water. Let's do shift. Can I swim? Yeah, that's slow motion. Okay, we're almost back to the beach and the character gets out and walks. But what's neat is that, watch this. So I'm using the middle mouse button to zoom in and out so that I can show you like how big this can be, right? That's an entire beach. And as you look all the way over there, there's the, the river coming up downstream and there's like an arc of sorts. So this is what makes it so, so amazing. But look at this. I'm going to actually change the water 
material type. So you get another like version of it. So there's this river map. We can also be able to switch to a different map altogether. But in this one, I'm showing you the different types of uh, like the shores. And there's the blue kind that's really, really pretty. And then like in the Pacific. <laughs> I can't get over the fact that this is in real time, you know. To be able to do this in real time is super, super amazing. To be able to get like wakes and form, right? And as the character gets in the water, you can actually see the interaction of the character with the water and the wake that he's leaving behind, which means that you can apply vehicles like ships, right? This is truly amazing. So imagine the power of this, right? And now this being applied to something like this. So which means I'm thinking that uh, even a coffee cup. Now that's why I'm wondering, will I be able to do like a, a coffee cup filled with this kind of uh, fluid flux? Because I have a tutorial and other videos that I've created of this uh, same system. Uh, I, like on uh, I've like the story that I've, I've I share the link in the description of this video, but it shows you how you can create like a, a little area, just dig out the ground a little bit, put in the water, and then you're able to actually fill it up, right? So my thinking is, uh, will this apply to a coffee cup? <laughs> you know, be able to put like and then change the water color as is like after I've shown you in the other video. But that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. That there's this amazing, amazing plugin called Fluid Flux, and right now it's in uh, the 2.0 version that does real-time fluid simulation and can be used to make uh, rivers, lakes, and shorelines as well as uh, oceans. Right. So if you have like an idea for a short film out there of uh, maybe you know how especially that there was a scene that I was trying to recreate of uh, the uh, way of the water you know, avatar, uh, because this is a perfect solution for this. <laughs> it, it's amazing what uh, how far that we've come in terms of our plugins. So let me switch to a different uh, level. So this is another one. This is, a, this is two. Let's go to three. So this shows you like a slice. It shows you how you can do like cross-section of the fluid. In that is amazing <laughs> so let's go around so you can actually see the cross section look at that right this is a really really good uh plugin that can you can use to for case studies of uh like erosion all right let's go to another one And this one shows you the, the bot. So if I go over, you can actually see the bot over there being affected by the waves in the water, some of it getting into the bot. But you can see the crate over there. So like a shipwreck, right? If you have if you wanted to demonstrate like a, a simulation of a, a shipwreck, this would be perfect for it because then you could have like all the debris and the character. And actually, if I use a let me see what what's the shortcut key? Ragdoll. So if I hold down the Q key, a character falls on the ground like that, right? So let me walk into the water. And then I'm going to press Q. And then the character is just floating there in the water. <laughs> so if you're going to do like a scene with a, like maybe there's been like a battle scene with the pirates going against each other, you know, and then you can have the Ragdoll system applied. So this would be like a cool camera cut that you could do like that. And then you can see that in the background, right? This is amazing. <laughs> and this is in real time, guys, like real time. And you can actually see as the waves crash against the rocks, the rocks actually get wet. And that's the, that differentiates it from other systems because you need convincing like textures as well not just uh the geometry being there you want you want the textures to also convey that the area around it is getting wet and that's what fluid flux does so look at that you know <laughs> anyway that was uh the stream for today i just wanted to walk you guys through uh like just a uh, version 2.0 
of uh, fluid flux, but also to show you this other like update that they're coming up with that showcases the water line on a glass dome and showing the potential of where we're headed in terms of real-time rendering. And I, I know, guys, you've already seen the updates that I've come up with Sora. And Sora is able to simulate a lot of this, but uh, the interactivity is a thing that separates it from Sora because here you can actually create a game with this, you know, with a character actually interacting with an environment like this. And then you create something like that that people can play with, your gamers, uh, your users can play with and uh, simulate it. Like if you want to create like an underwater sea, uh, city of sorts, this would be a great way to showcase like people walking underground but then looking up these amazing, amazing panels filled uh, like under the water where you could see whales, uh, octopus and sharks and imagine a shark coming up to the screen right there and you can actually see it and actually this system has fish. You can actually see the fish swimming in the water and that's exactly what I was thinking about into, as an application. So this is incredible. Uh, if you go to imaginary blend Dot com you'll be able to see to download this demo and test it out for yourself and uh, I have vi the version that I'm using in the Unreal Engine I've actually tested it uh, for some short film ideas that I've, I've been working with um, I highly highly recommend it guys Fluid Flux is incredible that's totally incredible <laughs> Uh, I don't know if there's any other solution now. If you know of any other solution, guys, that is, it comes close to this, I would love to know. Just post it in the link so I can test, it, take, it, check it out and test it. But to me, right now, Fluid Flux seems to be the best solution. Like, look how the water is actually making the sand wet as it as it gets closer and closer to the beach. Right? That is really, really unique. Now, I remember there was a there's a plugin called. Uh, Vue Extreme that had this, this capability and still has this capability, but it didn't do it in real time to create form like that. You had to actually render it to see it. And they are working on a, like a, I think a real time version of it to use, take advantage of GPU. But now when we, the fact that we have the Unreal Engine doing this is amazing. And so, I mean, I was reading somewhere, I think it was a, a LinkedIn post. Someone mentioned that uh, they could possibly be using the Unreal Engine in the back end of Sora. So who knows, maybe Fluid Flux, this module, this plugin might actually play a part in Sora at some point. But uh, it's incredible to see this in real time, to see how the bot is uh, crashing up against the rocks over there. And that would be amazing if it actually broke into pieces as it will slam into that, right? Now there's one other level that I wanted to show you, this one right here. And you can actually see the fluid uh, flux coconut just filling this up, right? Look at that, the water is flowing from the high ground all the way to the bottom. And you can actually follow it and see how it's filling up. And you can actually see the buoyancy of some of those uh, loons, look at that. This is really, really cool. And this is again in real time. This is not baked. I'm actually, this is, I'm streaming this from my other computer and it's it's incredible how Fluid Flux does this. And actually you can see down here, it's starting to flow and making the, the that uh, like some like a, a blade. Like if you think of it as, a, as like the propeller of a boat at the back, see how it's picking up speed as the water is uh, flowing against it. So the collision is amazing. The simulation part of it, look at that. So anyway, guys, <laughs> when you get a chance, again, I'm, I'll put the link in the description of this video so you can actually test it out for yourself. But that's incredible. It's, a, it's an amazing time to be alive right now as a creator. There's so many things that uh, are happening in our industry, but uh, I think one of those things that have been a pain in the past has been like rendering. This makes this gives us the opportunity to like iterate and try things out and see how they're gonna work before we commit to like a final shot. And even for final pixel, because this is good enough like to be in the background as like a a river, like if like you know, again, I was thinking about the case of a of like a like a pirate ship or like a pirate scene, things like that, or pirates of the Caribbean, you know, applications like that. So anyway. And if you just joined us, I was, again, I was talking about this new update 
from fluid flux that they're working on uh, the shoreline so you can actually see it against the glass over there. But uh, thank you so much for joining me today, guys. Um, I'm praying for you always. Please do not give up on your dream. In as much as AI is just overwhelming us, I am praying and hoping, guys, that you, you continue to be creative and don't lose hope because there are tools available that we can still use to tell our stories. And uh, yeah, we still have, we are human beings. There's something that AI doesn't have. We have memories, we have experiences. AI has never lost a loved one. We have. So we have these life experiences that AI cannot replicate. And out of that come our stories. And so as we look at the technology, as it's improving, as it's getting better, as new plugins, as new tools are made available, I'm hoping that we continue to harness them to tell our stories. Stay blessed. Much love to each and every one of you. And bye for now. And if you're new to my channel, I kindly ask that you spare a minute to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you're alerted when I post a new video. And thank you so much to all my patrons that are supporting me on this journey. Thank you for helping me to get to over 200,000 subscribers. I am eternally, eternally grateful, guys. Thank you for that growth. Stay blessed and bye for now.